Hello, this is World University and Schools News and question and answer. On Monday, July 11th, 2022, at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And you're welcome to join this open question and answer, bring a coffee or tea uh, conversation too. And as we wait to see if people will join us, uh, I've shared the link with some people on the World University and School Monday WUS News and Question Answer email list. I'm going to put on my coronavirus mask uh, to prevent the memes replicating cultural units uh, of the COVID-19 non-SARS-CoV-2 virus pandemic from uh, spreading to you. So uh, perhaps instead, uh, we'll turn this into a neck warmer. It's kind of cool in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's foggy outside here. And as a first item of news, I'd like to uh, share that World University and School has a new course. It's CS First with Google at World University and School, learning the Scratch programming language. So it's Creative Commons for licensed. So we or anyone can share it, adapt it, but non-commercially, so it's free. And it's Computer Science First at, with Google at WUAS is the course's name. And you can log in right now. And with it, you can matriculate uh, for free degrees at World University and School from your home. Uh, free bachelor's degrees, four years, building also on the CC4 licensed ocw.mit.edu uh, open courseware uh, in English, but it's also in six other languages. And World University and School is going to move into all 200 countries' official languages potentially with Google Translate too. Uh, so you can also matriculate in with this CS First with Google at World University and School course, doing Scratch programming projects, programming language projects, uh, to a seven-year PhD for free from home in uh, basically developing uh, 42 majors for either the bachelor's or the free PhD, which you can find on World University and School uh, website, worlduniversityandschool.org. So check these out. One of the things I minuted in the World University and School monthly business meeting minutes uh, for June 18th monthly business meeting, Saturday mornings, 9 a.m., third Saturdays of the month, open. It's only an hour long. You're welcome to join. Uh, bring your ideas and thoughts and questions. Uh, also, we post the video recording of this newly, fairly newly. Uh, so in the minutes that I shared on July 8th, so just a couple of days ago, the... Um, Congratulations from Paul Anderson, a George Fox University professor of religion in, near Portland, Oregon, um, from June 11th to Sidwell Friends Quaker High Achieving High School in Washington, DC, and to at S-C-O-T-T-M-A-C-L-E-O-D, my main Twitter feed. The congratulations that he posted is something that uh, World University and School is waiting to hear back further, potentially, from Sidwell Friends High School. For Sidwell Friends, possible recent alumni, recent graduates, to matriculate using this CS First with Google at World University and School course uh, as, a, as a class, as a cohort, but it's open to uh, alumni who might have graduated in the past few years, uh, or even uh, alumni uh, who might 
have graduated a couple of decades ago and are, might be interested in a free PhD, for example, online uh, for uh, in any of the 42 majors from MIT, ocw.mit.edu's Creative Commons for uh, offerings. Uh, so we're waiting to hear back from them further. Why did, and thank you to Paul Anderson say congratulations to Will Friends and Scott McLeod on Twitter. And uh, could Sidwell Friends even uh, help focus the development further of uh, more CS First with Google at World University and School courses building out of uh, CC4 OCW.MIT.edu courses for its recent graduates? And further, could uh, Sidwell Friends in Washington, D.C., uh, potentially with its network of uh, alumni and parents and um, relationship both with, the, with Washington, D.C. itself and the federal government, uh, help organize reimbursement per student per year or something like that to World University and School via a Google platform uh, so that not only might World University and School get a cohort, a first cohort of students, students who haven't perhaps decided on their on the college they want or who are interested in free bachelor's degrees over four years. Um, and could Sidwell Friends uh, potentially create the initial steps for a, a whole class, a whole cohort, uh, to have reimbursement from the District of Columbia's Department of Education, possibly, as well as possibly the federal government's Department of Education. And if Sidwell Friends students uh, who might be interested in matriculating, who matriculate in with the CS First with Google at World University and School course, um, also live in the state of Maryland or the state of Virginia or other nearby states, uh, could those states' departments of education help uh, reimburse World University and School via probably a Google platform, uh, maybe even with um, a cryptocurrency like Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency, also uh, help reimburse World University and School from specific US states, uh, departments of education. So, this is an interesting opportunity for a friend school. Uh, since World University and School is friendly informed as well, uh, we engage in a, a, a form of monthly business meeting uh, loosely conducted in the manner of Quakers, uh, but it's only an hour long and uh, it's quite focused um, in a way different from monthly business meetings uh, from uh, Quaker meetings in uh, the United States and around the world as well that are unprogrammed. So uh, these are exciting opportunities as World University and School, excuse me, waits to hear back from uh, further possibly uh, Sidwell Friends, uh, Quaker high achieving high school. It's very cosmopolitan as well, uh, being located in the US nation's capital and potentially also um, regarding uh, further collaboration with possible Quaker schools. We're open to anyone um, to matriculate in with this CS First with Google at WUAS course, for example, at the bachelor, free bachelor, free PhD level uh, from any of the 50 US states or from any of the 200 countries in the world that um, right now initially in English, uh, but uh, stay tuned for further developments um, as World University and School may connect further with other high schools in the country who might be, as our platform, uh, potentially 
think of cc4ocw.mit.edu open courseware get added to a Google platform, a CS first with Google at WUAS platform for both the standards of the CS first with Google at World University and School of Scratch programming language course. Uh, and for a variety of other reasons, the benefits, all kinds of benefits of IT, of bringing people together from different parts of the world, so not place-based, uh, for example. Uh, stay tuned. These are interesting possibilities in the information age with envisioning education anew, and in this post um, roughly two years of um, coronavirus pandemic uh, memes, replicating cultural units throughout the media in all 200 countries even, um, that have created some situations, a kind of self-quarantine, um, that have also opened up remarkable opportunities for online education because people have uh, found their way into uh, working and living online in the past two years of the non-SARS-CoV-2 uh, non-epidemic that may have opened up other possibilities for pre preparedness and protection for other reasons uh, in the whole um, trajectory and history of it. So that's a little bit of the first news item I'd like to share with you. Uh, and I'd also just like briefly to uh, talk through the minutes from June 18th, 2022, uh, and that were posted on July 8th, uh, 2022, Thursday or so this past week, um, just to bring them further into this video conversation this um, video recording that will be posted to youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. Uh, and that's also uh, the main Twitter feed for World University and School, twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. Uh, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org is the website address as well as the email address. So minute one, uh, World University and School continues to offer online free to students CC4 OCW.MIT.edu centric and CC4 licensed CS first with Google at WUAS courses. And you can go start right now with your own learning towards free degrees with CS first with Google.com. Let World University and School know you're interested in matriculating at World University and School, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org. So this would be for four bachelor degrees, four years long, roughly, PhD degrees, seven years long, roughly. And there might be the possibility for certificates along the way as well. If you had specific knowledge you wanted to get uh, to uh, gain mastery over in a series of courses, uh, let World University and School know as well from cc4ocw.mit.edu courses, for example. Minute two, in uh, WUS monthly business meeting, Larry Veland, who is um, the treasurer uh, and other roles as well, suggested waiting to hear back from Sidwell Friends High School in Washington, D.C., per George Fox University professor Paul Anderson's tweet congratulating Sidwell Friends and Scott McLeod for what we're still waiting to hear. World University and School is curious. Uh, stay tuned about that. Um, so uh, minute 2A, uh, to the degree that we could collaborate further with a Google coding team or hundreds of coding teams, um, that would be great uh, as we develop potentially 42 majors for bachelor's degree and similarly, similar number for PhDs online for free. 
World University and School is also heading in the online free law degrees, probably three years or so in all 200 countries and in their official main languages. Uh, minute three, um, the WUAS migration journey to wikibase.cloud, Wikidata, Wikimedia is complete. This is a fantastic development. We started partnering with Wikidata in 2015 or so. So this is about seven years ago. And wikibase.cloud, Wikidata, Wikimedia uh, said they would uh, have completed this migration journey um, a couple of weeks ago, and they did. This is potentially in 300 languages. This allows anyone, because it's Wiki, uh, World University and School also, but you as uh, experimenting could um, create an online library, an online collection of data, an online collection of data regarding research you're interested in, or collaborate with online collections of data regarding research you're interested in online collections of data regarding science you're developing. So online collections, uh, huge amounts of raw data, multiple collaborators, every project's data structure uh, wildly different and ripe for federation. Uh, these are interesting opportunities. You can um, read more about the WUAS migration journey to wikibase.cloud, Wikidata, media, um, Wikimedia in the World University and School Minutes um, at uh, worlduniversityandschool.blogspot.com and scott-mcleod.blogspot.com. Uh, elef elephant Asian is um, the species you could see. It's posted on Friday or Saturday, I think. So, Item minute four, um, WUAS is making progress. Uh, first, with um, a series of legal entities, three legal entities, with uh, two in the state of California and one at the federal government, in the federal government, with the federal government, the IRS. Uh, so the progress is that the WUAS Corporation, a for-profit general stock company, um, in California as a legal entity uh, became uh, California <laughs> FTB number 401805, um, added itself to the WUAS My FTB account uh, generation process a couple of weeks ago. And this generation process of this My Franchise Tax Board account uh, system is unfolding. And together with this WS Corporation, World University and School first added um, the World University and School uh, exempt federal legal entity. Um, and so these are in this database. Next, in the next uh, week or two, probably, we'll add our other World University and School exempt state of California, California legal entity, uh, California FTB number C3289561, I think, um, to this my FTB account generation process. And these uh, two legal entities will be in the WU in the WUS My FTB account uh, system together with the federal World University and School IRS tax exempt number, uh, federal employer uh, identification number. And the upshot of it is that at the federal level will be a nonprofit. Uh, a tax exempt charity in a sense, uh, which is great. And there are so many synergies um, between, potentially between these two California legal entities for World U WUAS and this uh, federal legal entity with the IRS. Stay tuned.
uh, these developments are unfolding as even I think the Franchise Tax Board in the state of California um, develops its IT and in relation to the federal government and in relation to all these legal entities. Uh, interesting times we live in when the information age makes possible uh, these new uh, legal entities on the web and their interoperability. Glad World University and School WUS is following um, these legal pathways. Also with Creative Commons for licensing, engaging uh, ocw.mit.edu and CS First with Google at WUS. Minute five. Uh, so in WUS monthly business meeting, Larry Veland also suggested, uh, like he did with waiting for hearing hearing back from Sidwell friends to hear back from another person possibly in uh, the Philippines uh, Gerard who um, has expressed interest in studying for a free PhD uh, with a major in management and a minor in sociology and expressed interest in um, some other aspects of world university and school and it may be that we won't hear back from him any further, but he's shared some good ideas. Thank you, uh, Gerard. Uh, and uh, stay tuned as World University and School also seeks to navigate um, abolishing, for example, uh, the illegal uh, sex industry internationally and their latent networks of violence, for example, um, and between all 200 countries. Uh, and uh, even as we possibly code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, and possibly with uh, online 200 law schools in all countries, 200 countries, official and main languages. Um, minute six, uh, World University and School, participated in a fascinating California Institute for Regenerative Medicine, CIRM, free live stream on Thursday, June 16th, and would, is seeking to uh, engage um, potentially the focus of CIRM, uh, which asked in this conference, can regenerative medicine turn back the clock on aging? And World University and School is interested in exploring this in on the virtual side of things, and for a also for a physical digital conversation in a realistic virtual Earth, for genetics in one realistic virtual Earth, and potentially um, at the cellular and molecular levels, in addition to the Street View with Time Slider, TensorFlow AI levels. Uh, minute seven, I think. Um, seven is scrolling down, scrolling down through the elephant Asian uh, minute blog post, minutes blog post. Uh, so minute seven is, regards uh, sensor and other kinds of technologies in a realistic virtual earth for STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And recently on Twitter, uh, there was a new MIT bacteria versus virus sensor or a, a, whole, a whole series, a whole bunch of different sensors that were developed, I think, in a class. And the World University and School is curious how such data um, that would distinguish between bacteria and viruses. This has um, not been an easy question, uh, I think, with uh, sensors and data for decades. Uh, how such data could be added to avatar bot electronic medical records, um, potentially in a realistic virtual earth for medicine. Minute eight. Um, World University and School is interested in facilitating 
in WUAS home robotics, further humanoid robotics building. With WUAS student robotics learning and coding developments, and potentially uh, in collaboration with possibly Google in a realistic virtual earth for Lego robotics. So this would be partly because World University, the WS Corporation is an official carrier of three Lego robotics kits and is exploring how um, a physical digital realistic virtual earth for Lego robotics um, at World University and School might emerge in all 200 countries. Exciting and interesting new developments. Uh, I think students will have fun uh, gaining robot building skills with uh, perhaps the Lego robotics kits and even uh, possibly with the, the Toyota humanoid robot that's about life size, human size, the THR3, uh, maybe that stands for Toyota dash humanoid robot three, not sure, um, but also its master maneuvering system, a chair in which a human can sit that has all kinds of equipment on it that interrelates directly with the um, humanoid robot itself for coding, for programming, potentially in all kinds of ways, including perhaps with brainwave headsets, neural networks, for even possibly coding the brain. Um, fascinating opportunities for home robotics at World University and School, if we could develop a, a kind of master maneuvering system that's Toyota inspired, even for humanoid Lego robotics, um, and also for the THR3. Minute nine, uh, World University and School continues to plan for developing 200 online medical schools with online teaching hospitals and in uh, realistic virtual earth for surgery and in the realistic virtual earth for genetics too. Minute 10, uh, World University and School also continues to develop uh, brainstorming wise in Google Street View with time slider maps, earth, TensorFlow AI, um, and is glad to see uh, Google's new focus on history in Google Street View with Time Slider. Uh, this is fantastic. Um, and World University and School will uh, potentially explore this. If avatar bots emerge, I think uh, Google is developing avatars too. They could re represent you and I, even as digital twins, in this realistic virtual earth for history. Could we go back and speak with someone from the 1870s uh, in their historical context in Google Street View that was 3D and virtual reality. Speak with a group of Quakers from the 1880s, just after the uh, US Civil War ended and uh, see um, what they thought and learn from them uh, as a new form of history. Uh, will Google Street View with Time Slider TensorFlow AI uh, eventually iteratively make this possible? Possibly. Also, uh, 200 online world-class university libraries, potentially in Google Street View with Time Slider. Go back to um, the Library of Congress in the 1820s and pull a book off the shelf in this virtual library system that might have been written in French, but was based in Washington, DC, in Google Street View with Time Slider, and read it. Would it be right there in front of your computer screen, but uh, would it be a PDF uh, in the portable document format file, file format? Um, in this Google Street View with Time Slider Library of Congress library. Could we uh, interoperate uh, in all 200 countries to create world-class 
university libraries with both national libraries and greatest university libraries all online at Google Street View with Time Slider. Uh, also, uh, realistic virtual earth for genetics, for genome research, for longevity research, for aging reversal, differentially, uh, longevity genetics research. Could we figure out how to double human lifespan to 244 years um, in a realistic virtual earth, longevity wise, building even on uh, the one millimeter sized worm, uh, nematode worm that is C. elegans with 302 neurons that make up its brain or its nervous system that uh, has a lifespan, I think, um, of about two and a half weeks with optimal conditions. Could we double its lifespan to five weeks? Similarly with Drosophila fly, if it has a lifespan of uh, three months or 90 days, could we double its lifespan to 180 days or six months by adding genes back uh, per George Church's 60 minutes video that's about 60 minutes long? And with aging reversal, uh, how would this differ uh, to rejuvenate cells uh, to make them young again? I think this is the rejuvenate bio idea, partly of George Church's research and colleagues as well. Um, could we, in a realistic virtual earth for genetics, connect these longevity research studies and these aging reversal studies with my, new micro uh, electronics chips or semiconductors. And also in Google Street View with Time Slider. Uh, so these, uh, this would be molecular uh, electronic chips. With Google Street View with Time Slider, time slide back for aging reversal. Uh, so the cells and the data of the species one was working on might uh, become younger as the digital information uh, was uh, recoded in their ones and zeros, and then maybe uploaded to C. elegans or Drosophila fly or humans via a smartwatch even uh, that streamed inner information from the web into it and a skin patch into um, the human. And similarly with longevity research, time slide, Google Street use time slider forward and possibly even with genetic and editing. Uh, so if one could edit the cells or the molecules of an organ in one's body digitally in Google Street View with time slider with avatar bot, electronic medical record of you, uh, could one edit it for health and then uh, transform those new ones and zeros into biological code, which could also be uh, programming cells with possibly ones and zeros. Uh, that's something for scientists who are focusing on these questions um, in new ways, interesting possibilities. Similarly, in a realistic virtual earth, um, realistic virtual hot springs for ethnographic research, realistic virtual Harbin hot springs, a realistic virtual um, Buckeye hot springs, for example. Uh, time slide back at Wild Willie's, Crowley's hot springs east of the Sierras to actually talk with whoever Wild Willie Crowley might have been in whatever year or decade he might have lived in, in 1968, in 1973, in the 1880s, who was Wild Willie? And would the data that informed the possible Wild Willie avatar bot be iterating? So with um, more and more information about him that researchers like you and I gleaned uh, from texts and other sources, uh, and would the conversations that might even happen chatbot-wise 
uh, natural language processing wise, um, also develop in the direction of being very interesting and um, helpful from a factual uh, historical perspective via conversation. Uh, item 10A, um, interesting recent lawsuit that the Internet Archive um, in, based in San Francisco seeks a summary judgment in a federal lawsuit. Uh, the Internet Archive has asked a federal judge to rule in the Internet Archive's our, our favor and end a radical la lawsuit filed by four major publishing companies that aims to criminalize library lending. This is an interesting set of developments. World University and School seeks to develop online 200 libraries and make it possible for you to develop your own online libraries uh, and um, seeks to make uh, lending of books from our online university libraries and our other online libraries possible. Um, World University and School, the WS Corp is also a publishing house uh, planned in 7,100 and 51 known living languages. Those relationships uh, are, are newly, um, offer new potential for planning uh, with this uh, focusing lawsuit. Um, this is an interesting lawsuit. World University and School hasn't um, navigated the world, this world very much at all to speak of. Uh, so these are interesting developments in that way too. Minute 11, um, World University and School continues to seek to develop WUAS virtual reality, VR. It's a Twitter hashtag, WUAS VR. Um, and regarding uh, potential, a, a new potential device for new forms of publishing digitally, uh, such as the ability to go into a virtual world, text in the sidebar, uh, where that would be actually published, uh, uh, published, publish an aspect of a virtual Harbin Hot Springs ethnographic interpretation in digital form. Also, print to paper. Uh, so both a new form of digital publishing as well as printing to paper. Um, Lydia Pincher, who's the uh, project manager, product manager of Wikidata in 300 languages, in Wikimedia Germany. Uh, also is the head president of KDE, uh, which does a variety of things, I think, but codes for um, interfaces such as screen screens coding, for example, with plasmoid uh, graphical user interface. I think it's partly based in country of Spain. And could it be a, a, a flower for drawing, uh, for attracting coders who were interested in many languages in coding such, for example, plasmoid graphical user interfaces and uh, potentially in the back of our REI glacier glasses or newly on a screen or in a new, WUAS device for publishing, uh, all kinds of coding uh, potentials emerge in these regards. A minute 12, World University and School seeks further to develop a realistic virtual Harbin hot springs for ethnographic fieldwork um, and ethno wiki virtual world graphy, ethnography and interpretive practice, wiki, wiki, which means fast in Hawaiian. Uh, anyone can become a curator, editor, teacher, learner, virtual world, uh, like potentially the emerging Google Street View with Time Slider, with Pegman, the little avatar bot becoming even avatar bot electronic medical records uh, at the cellular and molecular levels in addition to the Street View levels. Uh, so, in developing a physical, digital, realistic, virtual Harbin Hot Springs for ethnographic fieldwork, what ways can World University and School engage new YouTube technologies for immersion 
in hot springs uh, on smartphones that are much more engaging and interactive um, than a somewhat film-like video that one might see on YouTube and maybe iterating and developing as well. Minute 13, uh, there are two YouTube channels for world WUAS now, youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H and uh, youtube.com forward slash S-C-O-T-T, M-A-C-L-E-O-D-W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. Check those out. They have some videos that go back some years now. Uh, there may be other ones out there as well. So if you're interested in the history of World University and School or seeing where World University and School, like Wikipedia in its 300 languages with cc4ocw, edu in its, uh, I think, seven languages now. Um, check these out. Minute 14, World University and School continues to seek to develop not only Uganda World University and School in main languages there, uh, but especially physical digital Uganda World University and School uh, and an online medical school and online teaching hospital there. Uh, and you can see some recent correspondence with Gerard McLeod, MD, who's based in Georgia, at a hot, regarding a hospital in Ibanda in the southwest of Uganda in these regards, in the business meeting minutes. Uh, this potentially would take form in Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Maps, Google Earth, at the cellular and uh, atomic levels for even uh, telerobotic surgery and genetics uh, in a whole variety of ways, brainstorming wise. So I'm gonna switch hats right now and um, move to the WUAS Corporation, um, which is this for-profit general stock company um, in legal entity in California. And regarding a possible um, digital cryptocurrency that World University and School, WS Corp seeks to facilitate, connected with wiki schools for speakers of 7,000 languages, uh, and even in planning for coding for uh, all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a wiki data pin number, please check out the new, the recent MIT Digital Currency Initiative directors, uh, Niha Narula, uh, who's seen video that's posted to Twitter at the MIT Digital Currency Initiative Twitter feed, uh, who seems to be guiding from uh, my perspective, the digital current cryptocurrency conversation significantly. And there are thousands of digital cryptocurrencies, um, perhaps uh, all addressing questions of uh, how they'll work with central banks and how they'll work regarding privacy questions and the, how they'll work with the mainnet blockchain, uh, which I think from my perspective, serious digital currencies became part of in recent years um, is unfolding. Stay tuned for this. Um, Item minute B, uh, again, thanks to Harvard professor Larry Lessig and Congressperson Ro Khanna for retweeting, both retweeting the following Naked Harbin Ethnography book from ethnographic book from 2016 um, in just before they talked about Rokana's new book, Dignity in the Digital Age at the Internet Archive in San Francisco recently. And with regards to WUS Corporation publishing and selling as a press and a in the WUAS educational services bookstores, robotic stores too, please see again this recent internet archive lawsuit and related WUAS Corp planning for iterating IT developments. Just about three more minutes. 
that I'd like to share with you from monthly business meeting on June 18th, posted on July 8th. So again, uh, Wikidata and the new WUS migration to wikibase.cloud and the WS Press are partnering further. And with regards to the WUAS planning for machine translation and machine learning to publish both to paper in a new academic format, we've added an impressum, an imprint to the World University and School Academic Press uh, page. Uh, that adds a, a way of this press, this publishing house at WUAS relating to the public sphere in all kinds of ways. Uh, it's possible that um, Wikidata and Wikibase.cloud and um, Wikimedia would be interested also in helping set up our WUAS educational services stores, bookstores, computer stores, robotic stores, hospital technologies, distribution centers. Um, interesting set of data collections for Wiki, from a, a Wikidata perspective. Minute D, um, for the WUS Corporation and with regard to this new uh, upcoming in the US, Toyota ProAce autonomous vehicle electric camping van that might be faculty homes for field work at World University and School. Please check out the Toyota ambulance van, the Toyota High Medic, which could also become uh, a possible teaching hospital with telerobotics even in it at World University and School. Interesting possibilities of uh, combining a variety of Toyota ambulance and um, upcoming uh, even camping vans uh, together for all kinds of world university and school applications. Could we carry them uh, combined with world university, the WS Corp becoming a human, a Toyota humanoid uh, robot and other kinds of robots carrier uh, to be seen. Stay tuned, please. Uh, minute E. Um, thanks uh, to Tom Martin at LawDroid, that's a Twitter feed, at LawDroid, who helped incorporate the WUAS Press and the WS Corporation with chatbot AI software, LawDroid, which wrote the WS Corporation's Articles of Incorporation. Quite cool. Minute F, um, as uh, World University and School continues to explore the distribution of even universal basic income to end poverty among all 7.9 billion people. Brainstorming wise with Stanford Mind Pi, cryptocurrency free money daily, with artificial intelligence in all 200 countries, uh, to what degree could we anticipate setting up stores in uh, countries and regions where populations, uh, livelihood and income would be improving because they started getting Stanford Mind Pie free money daily because their nation states were interested in this uh, secure Stanford Mind Pie cryptocurrency. And because the WS Corporation was even able, brainstorming wise, to list the Stanford Mind Pi cryptocurrency on the new Silicon Valley long, -time, long term stock exchange, potentially nation states, mutual funds, banks uh, paid in to get cryptocurrency through the WS Corporation uh, uh, via the Silicon Valley new uh, long term stock exchange. I interesting brainstorming possibilities. Um, so in these regards, a, a robot in everyone's arms, all 7.9 billion people, like a $20 in the US, Mr. Coffee Maker, 
in a woman's arms that I saw at a Walmart recently uh, could be possible. Fascinating that we're iterating through the decades. Um, and World University and School seeks to um, create as many careers as Walmart, potentially. Uh, 2.3 million people, I think, is how many Walmart hires. And could World University and School grow to that size over decades up, ahead? Minute G, um, WUAS to design and produce, manufacture, uh, various kinds of robotic parts, but also a back wheel hub for bicycle bicycles with a motor in it that is super lightweight in conjunction with our robotics um, and potentially beyond a Lego robotics, Toyota robotics standards with even modular robotics, robots. Uh, and could it be, uh, this is not in the minutes, a new uh, bicycle similar to the urban Urtopia, U-R-T-O-P-I-A bicycle, which is carbon based. So it's super lightweight with its back wheel hub motor and its battery. I think it weighs 30 pounds, which is uh, possibly 25 pounds less than most electric bikes. Um, amazing. And could this bicycle that possibly, or this hub that World University and School WS Corp designs um, on a super lightweight bicycle as well, carry four full panniers, sleeping bag, even pull a trailer um, that was filled with uh, gardening supplies, heavy gardening supplies, uh, and have the battery, which World University and School may seek to develop as well, go far more than the roughly 30 mile range that many electric bicycles batteries work today. Um, 100 miles, 500 miles uh, over hills. And uh, could this back wheel hub for a bicycle with a motor in it, that's super lightweight, be connected to a throttle on the handlebars so that one could go a steady 20 miles per hour um, for 150 miles with a fully loaded bicycle. Stay tuned. I think this is the last minute. Um, so smartwatches, I mentioned this up in the world university and school side of things. Um, gel electrophoresis is a process for um, deoxynucleic ribo deoxyribonucleic acid at the molecular level, separation, filtering out various kinds of sequencing of DNA uh, in a gel. Phoresis means to carry. Electrophoresis, I think, means to add a very slight electrical charge uh, to carry these DNA molecules in different directions. Could we add this as the machinery uh, this gel electrophoresis DNA molecules process uh, for, to a Google Street View with time slider, TensorFlow AI, uh, for aging reversal for one and longevity for two in a smartwatch with a skin patch that would, smartwatch would download um, information from the web. Could this gel electrophoresis be the sort of machinery for DNA molecular uh, transformations, sequencings, new sequencings um, that would facilitate in a new way um, ongoing uh, potential aging reversal, genetics research, and longevity genetics research become a new product, a smartwatch like this for World University and School, um, even connected with avatar bot electronic medical records. See, for example, the blog post in scott-mcleod.blogspot.com, the Santa Cruz Island buckwheat 
uh, gel electrophoresis separates DNA molecules based on how the blog entry begins. Uh, and also see the um, in the World University and School minutes above uh, relating to the Center for G Regenerative Medicine minute C minute six, uh, Roman numeral four, IV, uh, B six, IVB up above in the minutes. In some of these regards, smartwatch with uh, gel electrophoresis and connected to Google Street View with time slider and for aging, reversal, and longevity genetics. So this has been probably the longest uh, WS news and question and answer so far. Uh, I'm going to close now. See you next week. I think it's the 18th of July, 2022, at 10 AM Pacific time. I'll add this to Twitter. Sorry, you know, uh, youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V, A-N-D, S-C-H. I'll also post it to Twitter, uh, the video recording of this WS News question and answer for July 11th, 2022. I'm Scott McLeod. Uh, please join the conversation with your questions. Next monthly business meeting, open, loosely conducted in the manner of Quakers, is this upcoming Saturday, 9 a.m., hour long. Uh, Zoom video conferencing possible. Uh, email meeting at World University and School if you'd like to join in, which will also be posted to youtube.com. Bye for now.